Hello everybody, it's Silly John, and I just finished m fixing the vinyls on my car because, you know, last time I went to get the unique vinyl and it screwed it all up. So, we're back to normal. And welcome, as I was saying, to another episode of my Honda S2000 playthrough. We're at the cream of the crop, crop of the cream, or whatever you want to say for stage four. Because we got a bunch of URL, event URL events to do. One, two, three, four, six. Jeez. We got a lot to do. So, I'm just going to get straight to it. And this is going to be a long episode because I'm doing all this in one shot. Well, actually, I might split it up into two, into another part. I will see what happens. Our first URL event, I think. But let's get it going. The Wraiths have been putting it down out there, doing anything it takes to win. Check it out. Their boss, Caleb, has been working backroom deals, trying to take control. Sponsors do everything through me, and I stand to lose big time. But you, you stand to lose even more. If he wins, he'll change everything. With the history the two of you have, you can forget about racing anywhere in Bayview ever again. But if you keep winning and scoring all them sponsors, he won't have anyone to turn to. They'll kick him to the curb. Just remember, you have to keep winning. Well, damn. So we get a little bit more of the story in this game shown right into our face. So, uh, I don't know how many people actually know what the real story of this game is. That's... Why is there so much lag? Well, anyway, the real story of this game, believe it or not, involves, well, obviously, you know that we, um... Oh my god, that was a horrible line. Obviously, you know we lost, the, lost our amazing skyline at the beginning of the game, but that doesn't matter. This has 2000s better. But, yeah, the player character, which is us, we lost... We lost our car because he he created a divert. He he crashed into us, or we made, we crashed into him and his fat ass Hummer. So that uh that made us lose our car. I keep reiterating that. I'm sorry. Basically, yeah. And as we're racing and winning, he's apparently now, as you saw, he's doing backroom deals to try and take sponsors away from us because we're, we're way too good for him and he can't handle that. And yeah, honestly, he's like the most forgettable antagonist ever, Caleb. Kind of really doesn't do anything. Why is this track so laggy? I shouldn't have any performance issues. I have a godlike PC. Oh, whatever. I'll get max rep on this race. Assuming I don't screw up all my racing lines like I do, but that train is unusually tricky for me. Just a little slip angle right there, no problems. Just 
trying to create more of a gap. It's not easy. They really want to rubber band. Okay, that should be good. That's a good line. Oh, that was poo poo. And on the last lap, too. That sucked. I think we're just gonna manage to get it. Yeah, we got it. Bye bye. Is this a tournament? It is. Next race. Oh, jeez. Everyone going straight for the inside line. It is a race, so. Makes sense. Dude, come on, man. Get out of my life. Just gonna have to take the outside line. I just have to take suboptimal lines. Wait, isn't this just the same track? Oh, oh wait, no. I think it might be slightly different. I was just have to complain. Wait a minute, isn't this the same track I was just racing on? It's not! It's a completely different track. Oh, that was a poopy turn. Damn, that was absolute trash. I will say one thing, this car sticks like glue ever since I changed the tuning setup. Once I get that wide body kit though, it's gonna be even better. really nail that turn right. It's kind of difficult for me. Ooh, slipping. That was a much better turn for that. That was also much better. That was not so good though. A little slip angle there. But the car is not gonna run it, but it'll go out of control. I have it way too dialed in for that to happen. I 
it's another victory for me. Boom! More purge and a new car. Cool, okay. Well, we have another URL to take care of, so let's do that. Uh, real quick. Just get that. Boom. And boom. <sighs> I think I'm in the front row. Yeah, yeah, great. Perfect. Oh, that's a that's a nasty turn combination. I'll probably get it figured out by the third lap. a little better. This is a slower track. More technical, which is okay for me, because the S2000 excels at technical tracks. Not the best way to take that turn. I don't think I'm gonna get max rep for that race. Well, it's at least a multi-race one, so maybe I could get it. Oh crap, I just bogged down so bad. It's okay, I'll catch him, no problem. This track again? Come on. That should be max rep. Yeah! A new car, huh? Cool. So, uh, I'm gonna do one more URL event, and then I'm gonna stop and, you know, split this up into another part. It's just, it's just too long, okay? I honestly want to think. I want to know what they were thinking at EA back then. Because it's too much. As much as I enjoy this game, like, I think everyone can admit with me. 
not admit with me, but they could admit and agree. There's a lot of URL races, man, and they're all really long. It'd be a good idea if they weren't as long, nor as many, or if they're gonna be that m be this many, at least don't repeat tracks. There. This is the final URL event for this episode. I saw a Miata. Hey, I'm on the front row with this, in with this blue Integra. <laughs> Let's not bog down this time. That was pretty good. This is five laps, so hopefully this is just a single event. I may have said this before, but man, this front downforce that I had really... It really helps a lot. I originally thought that if I didn't have any downforce in the front, it would get rid of all the oversteer of this car. And it did, but then it kind of... It was kind of way too stiff. It was as if it was understeering. This is the perfect amount. Not too much, not too little. And that was way too hot of an entry. But it still kept it under control, thankfully. Oh, I've already crashing into the wall there, at least. With the added downforce, I can take some turns a little bit faster than I was originally. And that's pretty good. Like I said, once the once I'm at like the once I'm at the final event, I'm gonna showcase my uh, my tuning settings. So if anyone wants to, you know, get an S2000 that's nice, nice, snappy, responsive, but doesn't oversteer at 215 miles per hour, well then, that's then I'll show you my settings. I was too early into uh, breaking that turn. Too late first time, too early second time, third time's a charm, right? go. Although I probably could have been a bit faster around that corner. But I'll take it. We take those. That corner is definitely much faster. Gotta start making a gap. I mean, that was kind of faster, but not really. about this with this tuning setup I could just throw this car around. I messed that turn up a little. I could I could kind of throw my car around with my previous tuning setup but it wasn't really that it wasn't 
It wasn't a good idea. That could have also been faster, but hey! Hey, I'm glad it's a final event! Thank goodness! Let's look at, look at my consistency! It's, uh... Eh... My, my second place opponent was more consistent. But, uh, I guess that was faster. Well, that's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a Please leave a like, comment, or subscribe! I hope you have a very nice day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!